I was like, hmm, well, let me, let me try to mimic their formula. So I, I started creating listings and then I didn't know it was drop shipping. I just started creating listings. Hey, what's going on everybody? Yeah. Steve here at Rake and Profit over at rakeandprofit.com. Coming back to you with another video. I'm here in Miami with Rico, who just hosted a mastermind. Yo, Good to have you here. Thank you for coming out, man. I Yo, you're a legend. You. Yo, I've watched you for so long, man. <laughs> thank you so hey, much for man. coming. It's been great to be here in Miami. We're at this mansion, which is what? Like, how big is this thing? Like 30,000 square feet? <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's, it's 10,000 square feet. You it, know, that's nine bedrooms. I've never bedroom. been in a mansion big, like a private one, so like, I'm a little starstruck being here. There's been so many amazing drop shippers, yourself, yep. and uh, Rico's actually making between forty to fifty thousand dollars a month. Not sales, but straight profit. You know, this is between my clients, my drop shipping stores. I also have a car shop, and then, you know, we drop ship on our own website. We make our own products. You know, we have our own exhaust intake stuff like that. So, you know, we do a lot of different things, and it just works out great because. Yeah. You know, you start in one spot and then you carry all the, you know, all that all the way down the line and yeah. you, know, you just build a real business and brand. So it's really cool, man. So you've been drop shipping on Amazon. You also do drop shipping wholesale. You mm -hmm. deal with car parts. You've yep. been doing this for how long now? About 10 years or about, so? About 10 years now. So I, I wow. started, you know, back in my early 20s out of desperation because <laughs> okay. I, I, I was broke. I had, so you early 30s right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm 33 now. Got I'm 33 okay. now. You know, I got kids and the whole nine. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, I'm, I'm grown. Got, got like a couple of wrinkles there. So. <laughs> You know. So how the heck did you start, man? You're 33 now. You're doing 40 to 50 thousand dollars a month profit, mostly through Amazon dropshipping, yep, Amazon, Amazon drop shipping. automation, yep. um, wholesale. So this is gonna be a really cool video because yep. we're gonna go through this whole story. We're gonna give you tips and tricks yep. how to get started, mistakes to avoid. We're also gonna the, share, avoid the mistakes. And that's the big yeah, thing, that's right? the big avoid the mistakes. Because a lot of people want to start a business and they look at like they're seeing all these Facebook ads and these you know guru videos about get started. And you only need ten dollars. Oh, make a million within, like, <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> and I've been like, after being in this mastermind, I want to share with you guys that yes, one huge opportunity to build a business and to make money and yes. to build passive income with drop shipping. But I hate to say this, and this is where we're going to lose a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. It takes hard, hard work. So let's talk about a your story, some of the ups and downs, man. Let's start from the beginning, early twenties, and uh, share your story, brother. Um, so you know, when I first started, guys. I was broke. I had no money. I was in. I was in the military. I was actually in the Air Force, and uh, you know, I had my my first child, my son, and uh, you know, it was just me and him through a series of unfortunate events with his mom. Uh, so he was a six month old kid, and I'm trying to figure out how to provide for him. You know, I'm making like twenty one thousand dollars a year. I still get taxed. You know, because military, you still get taxed, and I got to pay for daycare. I have to pay for food. I have to pay for all these things, and uh, you know, it was one of those desperation moments where you get paid on the first and the fifteenth. It was a 13th. It was a Wednesday. I had three dollars and sixty-seven cents in my Wachovia bank account. Now I'm, eight, I'm, I'm dating myself wow, because man. this is before he's rolling into three figures. Yes, club. yeah. So this <laughs> is before you know Wells Fargo uh, took over Wachovia, and I had to figure out how to get my son something to eat the next yeah. day for lunch. I had to get a lunchable, and then on top of that, I had to figure out how to put gas in my car because I was riding on E. Well, as you guys know. Uh, if you have a dollar in your account, you can swipe it and then they'll let you go ahead and, and overdraft your bank account. So I'm making real life decisions with $3.67. So I went to the commissary, yeah. got my Lunchable, and then uh, went ahead to the gas station around the corner, made it, swiped, filled up, and it was the most expensive tank of gas I've ever got because they hit you with a $35 overdraft fee and at the time, gas was $4.30 something cents here in Florida. Mm. So you could imagine I was already broke <laughs> and then just went more broke. More broke. And uh, you know, I didn't have any money to start. So when you're in the military, uh, when you're a lower rank, you get a weight allowance, all right? So when you get ready to move to a different base, you PCS, you get a weight allowance. So you can't take everything with you. So I knew this and what I started doing was looking at the free sections of Craigslist down here in Florida. So my friend let me borrow his old Chevy pickup truck, this S10, and I would ride around <laughs> on the weekends and pick up bunk beds, vacuum oh, cleaners, just free uh, stuff. like free stuff, just yeah. sitting out there, old TVs, like the big bulky ones with the, not the flat panel ones, you know, the big heavy CRT <laughs> TVs. Do you do uh, yo, I would take them to pawn shops, I would resell them right on Craigslist, so I would take someone's listing. Some people bought those still. Yo, bunk beds, tons of money. Because <laughs> for a little bit of sweat equity, you can make 150 bucks on a bunk bed so like that. To flipping bunk beds. Bunk in beds, like bunk, <laughs> I'm flipping bunk beds. You know, I was off in the Panhandle of Florida. You know, I, I was flipping bunk beds. Vacuum cleaners sell really well, by the way. 
and, and old TVs, you know, people would just leave them out. I'd take them to pawn shops, get 30 bucks. <laughs> and, um, you know, I used that money. I started flipping cell phones. I got into flipping, uh, you know, old, older phones. This is back when the first iPhone came around, guys. So yeah. if that tells you anything. <laughs> so I was flipping, you know, they had the HD2 and all that. And I was flipping cell phones on Swappa and, uh, and, and, and Craigslist. Mm. And then I started flipping them on eBay. And then I started drop shipping on eBay. But the profit margins uh, were, were really stringent. So how did you learn about that? Because you're, mm. you're flipping mm. bunk beds, yeah. bulky TVs, right? And but, now you, like, how do you learn about... Drop so, shipping, because everyone, a lot of people on the internet, they all think it's a scam. They think it's BS. So yeah, like every time I put a drop shipping video out, it's like people just don't think it's legit. It, see, and so guys, so you know, I have to preface that where I I didn't know it was called drop shipping. I just knew I saw a bunch of items on eBay. I'm like, oh, there's a lot of cell phones on yeah. on eBay. Yeah. Hmm, how do we pull this off? So I I started flipping the cell phones on eBay and all that, and I started seeing people selling stuff that I knew was from Walmart. Like they were selling soaps and all that, and I'm like, oh, I could sell that. Mm. I was like, hmm, well, let me, let me try to mimic their formula. So I, I started creating listings, and then I didn't know it was drop shipping. I just started creating listings, and then I was going into Walmart buying soaps and then shipping them out. <laughs> Terrible freaking idea because, you know, I was barely making any profit. I was making like 20 cents. I was like, okay, we, we can fix you were this. You building the experience. I was, I was building the experience, and then in turn I started shipping them because I didn't have the internet. I was, I was too broke. I didn't have the internet in my house. I couldn't afford it. And then, you know, I started flipping them. Once I got the internet, I'm like, okay, I ended up, what, um, oh my God, uh, this old, um, old, I don't even think they're around anymore. They were using uh, the WiMAX technology. Okay. Before they weren't using okay. LTE, they were using WiMAX and it was all wireless modem. Got it. And, uh, you know, I was using, you know, using that and I ended up learning the process. I started purchasing for Walmart and shipping it directly to people. And then I was like, oh, this is much easier. <laughs> well, apparently that's drop shipping people. That's what it is, it's much easier. And, um, you know, after that point, I was like, okay, well, the margins still aren't real high. So I started selling on, on Shopify, and in between this, I went to college. You know, I got my, my career as a right. software engineer. I'm still a software engineer, by the way, guys. Oh, that's and, cool. And that's what really ultimately helped me. Do you still work? You don't work the nine to five anymore. I, st I still have my nine to five. I, I, so I mean, I work I work part time still. Okay. I, like I don't work got for like full time. I, I go in the got office it. three days a week and then focus on business the other time. So I'm still an employee, guys. Like it, it's perfectly fine to be an employee so and have a business. Fifty thousand dollars on drop shipping plus. Plus my, my daytime career as wow. a software engineer. That's so, cool. That's inspiring. You know, you got trust know me, that. you guys can do the same thing. Like you just have to really focus. It, it's very time consuming, but I'm just used to it. You know, I'm used to not sleeping very much. And that's just what carries over. So, you know, fast forward to all that, you know, I was drop shipping there and then you know I went to college and used use the money I was making at my career to fund all of my business ventures. Um, you know, I have a car shop with my good friend Dino. It's Speed Circuit. It's out in New Jersey, actually. We build a bunch of Evo 10s. I have a, you know, a GTR. I have a Focus RS. He, has a, uh, he had a Cayman. I has a 911. We have all these cars, and, you know, people come to us to, to build fast cars. And we have our own products. We have our own website, and we drop ship things through there through our suppliers, through our wholesale suppliers. And that's how we got in wholesale, having these got accounts it. like 10 years wow. for the last, like, decade. You know, so we do a lot of wholesale for car parts. And I'm like, oh, wait, we have our website, and we have our own products. I could drop ship the same items on like Amazon. Oh, because so people can't get those products. They can't get them because they don't have a wholesale account. Turn 14 requires oh, a buy-in. Most of the big wholesale suppliers, you have to have a legal business and you have to buy in. You have to give them a reason to do business with you. And that's exactly what I did. I was like, all right, well, we'll go ahead. We, we had already placed the buy-in years prior. So I'm like, oh, we yeah. could just use that. Yeah. And that's what happened. So by the way, if you guys didn't know, KW, I love you guys very much. I use your <laughs> products. We get KW coilovers for very cheap. We sell them for $2,800. You know, imagine getting a you know, $500, $600 profit on you know, a set of coilovers. Very nice margins. That's why wow. wholesale is fantastic. Requires money though. You gotta have money to get in the wholesale. And that's why I couldn't do it when I first started. I was broke. I had no money. So I had to do all these roundabout things to get enough money to get into wholesale. Interesting. So can anybody get started with like wholesale if you have the money once you get the license? Oh yeah, Any, anybody can get in a wholesale. That's what I recommend. I recommend everyone get in a wholesale because it's the easiest way people are already looking for those products. Yeah. You, don't ha you have to do a little bit of product research and you gotta be fairly okay with it. You don't have to be great at it. Yeah. Like you have to be decent. I'm known for private label drop shipping on Amazon. That's, that's my bread and butter. Wholesale, you don't need all those so skills. So is this wholesale drop shipping or just, cause I'm familiar with wholesale. So we, we do wholesale drop shipping and FBA because I want to take the onus off of me. I send those in directly to Amazon. Yeah. Amazon takes care so of it. So wholesale drop shipping is you're building the wholesale relationships mm -hmm. because what I'm familiar with, mm -hmm. what a lot of my followers do is mm -hmm. they build the wholesale relationship, mm -hmm. they land an account, and then they mm -hmm. um, they find a profitable deal and then they get the item shipped to them and then they send it out to yep. FBA or it goes directly mm -hmm. from the wholesaler to, to a prep center. But you're no, building the rela relationship yeah. and you're selling it for the company and then they're drop shipping. Yeah, they drop ship directly to the customer. Oh, Guys, wow. love it. Like. 
Turn 14, we love you guys because you help us do a ton of business. Interesting. So Turn 14 is actually out near me, out near okay. Philly. So, yeah. you know, we, we get customer orders and they send it directly to said customer. Extreme PSI, love you guys too. Han, you're one of my favorite guys ever. You know, so he, he's one of the guys over at Extreme PSI. He's one of the owners. He's known me since I was like a little kid. And yo, you helped me do a lot of money. <laughs> and uh, you know, they do the same thing. I'm like, hey, you know, I place an order, they ship it directly to the customer. Interesting. Done and done. That's cool, so you can actually mm -hmm. make money from home. All you have to do is build a relationship. Yep. Build a good relationship. How can you find <laughs> wholesalers to drop ship products for you on Amazon? All right, so it depends on your niche and what you guys are going for. Obviously, you know, we have a car shop and we do a lot of car stuff. I'm a huge, huge car fanatic. So for me, I already had those relationships with, you know, with Turn 14 and all that, and just having my first car shop and then that, that shutting down. I just kept the relationship open. Um, so I knew I wanted to work with the biz, biggest people in a business. So when you're doing your product research, uh, you need to find certain items that are going to make you money and then start looking for the supplier. Don't necessarily look for the supplier first because you're not going to know if those items are profitable. There's going to be hundreds, if not thousands of items on those, on, on their pages. Yeah. How are you going to know what's profitable? You're yeah. just going to be shooting in the dark. If you yeah. do your product research, you know, I use AMZ Scout Pro for a lot of my stuff. I mean, okay. granted, they sponsor me, so just take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. You know, I use AMZ Scout Pro. I love their software, and that's how I do all of my product research. I use that tool to find profitable items. I'm like, oh, okay, well, Craftsman's Tools are, are doing this. These guys are doing $100,000 in sales for the month. Hmm. Let me see what I can get that for. Oh, or, gotcha, hey, gotcha. Uh, you know, there's these shirts or something or whatever. Oh, wow, they're doing $50,000 a month on Amazon. How can I get into that? Let me see if there's a supplier for that particular item. Oh. I don't do the whole supplier first and then item. I search the item first, figure out what's, you know, what's profitable, and, and then find go find and find a supplier and build a relationship that way. It's kind of ass backwards, but. Right. So it, do you think that beginners, say for someone who has less than like $500, should they start just by drop shipping on Amazon um, from just you know going to retail stores and piggybacking or should they go the wholesale route? You're not gonna have enough money. Like 500 bucks is not gonna be okay. enough money. So what I recommend, like you guys know I'm not the biggest proponent of eBay drop shipping, but eBay drop shipping is a cash flow business and it takes very little capital to start mm -hmm. and I recommend that. Now, granted, you know, there's a lot of things that have changed, like their drop shipping policy has changed. There's a lot of MCO 11s that are happening. Promoted listings are getting squashed. So. It's, it's more difficult, but by far, dropshipping on Amazon, I love it, that's what I do, that's, that's my bread and butter. Dropshipping on eBay, best way for a beginner, by far. If you have less than 500 bucks and you have a good PayPal account and good standing, you, you can start making money like that. It's a cash flow business and that's what you're gonna use to turn over and make more money to get in wholesale. What would you say to the people who don't think that dropshipping is gonna be a viable business over the next year or two and they say to themselves, I don't want to start something that doesn't have uh, longevity. And you hear that in all industries, whether that's eBay, yeah, Amazon, Amazon Poshmark, yeah. you know, any business, restaurant industry, different things. Like yeah. I have friends that are trying to start restaurants. I'm like, I don't know if this is still going to be there because of all these different things and factors and Uber Eats, blah, blah, blah. So what are your thoughts um, <laughs> on longevity of a drop shipping model? All right. So. For me, I've been in the game on Amazon alone for six years. You know, I've been selling, you know, in various ways for the last decade. It's not going away, guys. Like, just because they change the rules doesn't mean you're not going to be able to make money. We make plenty of money drop shipping. The only way you don't make money drop shipping is if you don't start. Mm. Period. End of discussion. You know, for the next, I'd say, three to five years on whatever platform you're on, it's going to be a good time. Now, ultimately, you guys know, if you follow me on my channel, you know my play. It's don't drop ship all the things forever build a real brand, build a real business. Drop shipping is great for cash flow to get you into other avenues, you know, start branching off to get into real estate or maybe even wholesale, build a, a private label brand, yeah. build a Shopify store, do what we did, have a, a car shop. you have. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna drop ship all the things forever. I know that at some point, I'm gonna have to change. I'm gonna have to grow and evolve. And the I'm a software engineer. all the time. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Amazon, Mr. Bezos. You, you have definitely been hitting my pockets as a Why are you so innovative? <laughs> Why are you so innovative? You're hurting me. But, you know, I'm a software engineer by trade. And, you know, I'm, I'm working on my own software to help, you know, with engagement and on social media and stuff like that. And I know that, you know, while Amazon is very lucrative, I can help more people. So I'm using all my drop shipping money to start building out the, this, this software suite and all these tools to help people in various ways. So that's my long-term play. It's how do I, you know, become more than just a, a drop shipper. What's something that's working really well right now that Amazon drop shippers can apply for the new folks who are watching, maybe they've never done it, or maybe someone's been doing it for three or six months, just starting to see some results. What's something that's really working well, maybe something that you shared at the mastermind or something you learned from uh, somebody here? Yeah. 
All right, so right now, um, drop shipping from Walmart is, is chaos, okay? Drop shipping from Walmart and Home Depot is chaos, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. But retail arbitrage is profitable. Now, I do not recommend it for everyone because there are a lot of rules. Amazon does not like it. it they, they don't like drop, that form of drop shipping on, uh, on, on Amazon. But they will allow it if you're making money and skating under the radar, all right? So you're kind of breaking the rules a little bit here. Overstock.com, Bed Bath & Beyond. Mm. Two of the suppliers that you will make a lot of money with because those items have very high sales ranks. There's a little competition oop, for, for a little <laughs> bit of those. The leaves are falling. A little bit of competition for some of those items. And you can make a lot of money because you're going to do a lot of volume. Now, granted, your profit margins are not going to be very high. You're going to be doing anywhere between 6 to 10% on the front end. Whereas, you know, with wholesale, you're doing 20 to 40, if not more than that. You know, in private label, my margins are 50 to 70 percent on some of my items, you know, Got especially it. the items that we make through Speed Circuit. So take that for what it's worth. Now, you can do a lot of volume. Like I, I have a thousand dollar days, two thousand dollar days because they're just really high volume items. Got so it. I definitely recommend it. If you have a little money and you're looking to start drop shipping on Amazon, that's definitely the way to go. I use, personally, I use Web Scraper app. My, my friend Ron, Ron Myers. Yeah, he was here at the yep, Mastermind. he was here at the Mastermind. Ron, I love you. Shout out to Ron. I, I use his software for all of my, my RA items and a lot of my wholesale as well. You know, with, you know, there, so there's features that we can't talk about that you guys don't see yet, but Ron has a lot cooking for you guys. Um, you know, but I use his software and it works out great. I mean, he's a fantastic mentor. The tool, I'm a software engineer by trade, so I need to know how it works. When I go to Ron and I'm like, hey, look, man, you know, I need this feature. Make it happen. Done just like that. Mm. Yo, I need this. Can you make it happen? It would make my job easier, make other people's jobs easier. Got it. Finished. So therefore, I use that. Okay. And it helps me make a lot of money. It keeps track of all my profits, all my, my shipping time, everything. Mm. I put in all the data. I know exactly how much money I'm making. I know how much money my clients are making. It's important. It's, it's very, very important. And, and, it's, and it's worthwhile. So if you guys are looking to get started, that's what you do. Yeah, and if you guys <laughs> want to learn more about drop shipping, wholesale drop shipping, private label drop shipping, just drop shipping in general entrepreneurship. Yep. Check out Rico. I'm gonna put something in the beginning of the video so there, there was yep. there's an overlay, but also right mm -hmm. now, where can they find you to consume some of your free content? Yo, you guys can check me out on my, my YouTube channel. <clears throat> Sorry guys. Uh, it's, it's Roughnecks Ecom. You guys can check that out. You know, Mr. Raken will put a, a link to that. You know, you guys can check me out on my personal Facebook, which it's Rico, R-E-C-O-S-C. -S at the time when I created my Facebook page, I did they were like, what is it? I was like, oh, I don't use Facebook. I just put SC for Speed Circuit because I was promoting the shop and that was it. Got it. So Rico SC on Facebook. And you guys can find me on, uh, on Instagram at roughneck underscore actual because it's a military term. So actual is like the real deal. So roughneck underscore actual on IG. I answer all my messages personally. Yeah, check them out. I answer them all day long. So if you message me, you're going to get a response. doesn't matter what time of day it is unless I'm sleeping. So if it's like after 2 a.m., probably not going to respond until around 5 when I get up for the gym. Yeah, he's a really good guy. He's uh, very well connected in the dropshipping space. Good friends with one of my uh, best buddies. Um, Paul Lipsky as well. I love Paul. Yeah, he's here as yep. well. So, Paul's here as well. Um, I can tell you right now that Rico is a great guy. He's doing it. He's living oh, the life. And you know, uh, thank you. You know, it's just it's been a pleasure being at this mastermind. So, brother, bro, thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you for yeah, coming. You, oh man. my God, yo, you guys, I love this. I've watched him for years. It's an honor to even meet Thank you. you the fact that you came out, oh my, yeah. oh man. Well, I'm living in Miami now, man. So yeah, I, I know. Show up, man. <laughs> yeah. Be a problem. Yeah. Hey, be sure to follow him. Also, um, check out his videos. If you guys want more content like this, or you want me to mm. interview Rico again, or maybe go on his channel or whatnot, uh, let us know. Always drop welcome. a comment. Always drop welcome. Drop a comment down below. We could go drive supercars together. You know, I, I'll bring him out to Philly. <laughs> I'll let him, I'll take him out in, in my car, take him out in the GTR. Right, and we'll back ride out towards the New England area. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> All right. Fine. I have to ship my car down here. We'll see you guys. Peace. Peace out, guys.